Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video. As you saw from the title, it's a crochet hair install video in today's hair. As you also saw from the title, is the Free Trust Maisel Curl Hair. It is 18 inches. I have it in the color 4 and it is a 3 times pack of hair. I did enjoy that joyful curl hair and so I was excited to try another hair. I got the Maisel Curl because I thought it was also from the natural fiber or the natural volume line like the joyful curl that hair felt a little bit different a little bit thicker so I bought this thinking it was part of that line it is not so I'm gonna install this hair on this braid pattern this is what my hair is looking like as per usual my mother did my braid down and this time she did nine braids I think I counted it Yes, nine braids. Last time she did seven. I had to have a little talk. I was like, seven is too few. Seven is too little. I, I think my sweet spot is nine, ten, or eleven braids. Braid down was quick as per usual. We got this thing to a rhythm now. So without further ado, I won't ramble for too long. I'm going to take this hair out and get to installing. Another closer look at my braid pattern. Again, nine braids going straight back coalescing into a little bun. Of course, with these three times pack, you get three individual rows. I never feel like one row would be enough for a full pack, but I do like three times bundle because it does feel like you're getting bang for your buck. As per usual, all I'm doing, taking a sliver of the hair from the pack, pushing my crochet needle through my braid, attaching the hair, pulling through enough to create a loop and then pulling the strands through twice so in essence double knotting this hair and repeating the process all throughout really the back of my head with the front two inches of my hair as per usual I don't double knot that portion of my hair what I do for that portion is invisible knot the hair which is splitting the hair in half pushing the crochet needle through my hair pulling it through like I normally do to create that loop but instead of bringing both strands through I only bring one strand through and that is invisible knotting the hair that's one to make the knot smaller so in essence more invisible and two to create a more natural looking hairline and then I'll also add for three to have a little less volume in the front sometimes with our hair naturally it's more voluminous in the back than the front so it's creating a little bit less density in the front so it's not all kind of thick in the front This is the finished look. Let me lean in so you guys can see the hairline. Let me start doing a turn so you guys can see. It is a long 18 inches for sure. Turn to this side so you guys can see that side. Get into that. I have not cut a drop of the hair as of yet, but of course I will for a bit of evenness. But overall, 
this is the look. I kind of like it, but I'm nervous. And let me tell you why. It is extremely, extremely soft. It is probably more so on that free tress presto side, if not a bit softer than the presto and go go. I, I put it more there than the last hair I tried, which was that Joyful Curl, which if you watched that video, had a definitely different texture. This is more of a silkier texture, so you're going to want to double knot the hair for sure. Maybe even triple knot it in some places, but in the front, I'm always going to invisible knot. So that means pulling the hair through once. I've never had an issue with any of my hair that I've installed with my hair slipping. I don't know how. I'm not doing anything special you see on my installs, but I've been getting questions on my Instagram and my TikTok recently from newer people who are just finding short form content from me and asking how do I deal with slippage or not slipping. And I've never, in my seven years had that issue and I'm not doing anything special I'm using the same hair I could see how slippage could be an issue but I'm not sure how my hair is avoiding that I, I have 3c 4a type hair so it's not super you know silky so I don't have that issue but this hair is a silky hair so I'll be on the lookout for that but it also is a lightweight hair it's very lightweight in terms of how much hair I use I use one full pack and this is all I have left from the second pack because of my joyful curl I won't say mishap but the fact that I felt like I needed a little bit more than two I used two full packs of the joyful and i felt like i could use like one sliver like one more of this it was a three times pack too i was on the safe side and i bought a third pack this go around i didn't even use two full so i'm really confused about the consistencies of both hair and why one made me feel like i needed more and this one i felt like i needed less who knows but i'm glad i did buy just just for the just in case of it all but overall nice nice curl i think it's a very beautiful curl i want to see how it holds up and i'm sure you guys too that's why you need to be subscribed to the channel so you don't miss i do an install video but i also do a review of the hair i don't just put it in and then leave you hanging i will come back later with my full review however long i'm able to wear this hair coming up soon i am going on a trip to the uk so i will be taking this hair on that journey and with heathrow airport i won't be able to bring all the liquids that i normally bring so we'll see what kind of hair products i can finagle on that journey you'll see if you're subscribed to my channel you'll see the review you'll see all those good things as well as have that notification bell on so you're alerted as soon as i upload that video make sure that you're following me on instagram at leovon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time tiktok at leovon and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.